In the last lecture, we learned what is a route parameter and how to read the value of a route parameter from within a controller method. Now, in this lecture, we are going to understand what is a query string and how to read the value of a query string. Query strings are the additional information appended to the end of the URL separated from the URL by a question mark. The query strings consist of key value pairs where each key is followed by an equal sign and its corresponding value. For example, let's say this is the URL to which we are making a GET request. Now, in this URL, the route is root URL slash users. And after that, we have this question mark. And after that question mark, we are specifying some key value pairs. So here, the gender is key. And for this key, the value is male. And then this is married is key. And for this key, false is its value. And we are separating these key value pairs using this ampersand sign. So here, gender and is married are the query strings with the value male and false respectively. And always remember that query string is not part of the route. So in this example, the route will be root URL slash users. So whenever we make a get request to this URL, this request will be handled by that route for which the URL pattern is root URL slash users because the query strings are not considered as a part of route. They are just extra data which we are sending to the server through the URL. All right, now let's understand query strings practically. So let's go back to VS Code. So here we have this get users method and this method is going to handle any request which is going to come to root URL slash users, right? And from within this method, we are returning the list of all the users which we have in this user service. Basically in this user service, we have an array of two users. So these two users will be returned in the response. So let's go to postman and let's make a get request to this root URL slash users. And when I click on the send button, you will notice that in the response, we have received an array of two objects. Okay, so this request is being handled by this get users controller method. Now, to this request, to this URL, if I add some route parameters, for example, let's say gender equals male, and so we separate query strings using ampersand symbol. So here the first query string is gender whose value is male, and the second query string is let's say is married, and its value let's set it to false. So in this way, we can pass multiple query strings separated by this ampersand symbol. So if I go ahead and if I send a request, this request also will be handled by this same get users controller method because here the route is basically root URL slash users. And to that route, we are appending some extra information using query strings. But this extra information is not part of the route. So here the route is root URL slash users. So for this root URL slash users, the request will be handled by this get users method. And if we make that request, you will notice that we are still receiving that same response because this request is also being handled by the same get users method. But now when we are sending this request with that request, we are also passing some query string. So if we want to read the value of these query strings, what we can do is to this get users method, we can specify a parameter. Let's call it maybe query or query string. You can name it anything. But in this query string parameter, we want to store all the query string and its values which we are passing for that request. So first of all, I'm going to set its type as any because we don't know what type of data it is going to contain. And I'm going to decorate this query string parameter with at query decorator. And to use this at query decorator, we need to import it from nest.js slash common library. Okay. And after this, let's use a set of parentheses. So what this query will do is it will make sure that whatever query string we are passing for this request 
for this route it will create an object using that query string so in that object the query string name will be the key and the value which we have assigned to it will be the value for that key so an object will be created and in that object we have all the query strings which we are specifying here and that object will be assigned to this query string parameter you can name this parameter anything as i mentioned so to keep things simple i'm simply going to call it as query and here before we return the response let's go ahead and let's log that query let's save the changes let's check if the application has been compiled or not so the application has been recompiled let's go to postman and from there let's make a request so this request will be sent it will be received it will be handled by this get user method and inside this get user method what we are doing is first we are creating an instance of user service we are logging the value in this query and then we are sending a response so when we are logging the value of this query we can check that inside this command prompt and here you will see when we have logged query it has logged an object and in that object with the query string name we have a property so in the request we have specified two query strings gender and is married so with these two names we have property in this object gender and is married and whatever value we have assigned to it so for gender we have assigned male and for is married we have assigned false so that value is assigned to those properties okay so in this way we can read the value of a query string which we are passing with a request and remember that query string is not the part of the route pattern now is it possible to read the value of a single query string yes it is possible for that all we have to do is to this query decorator we can pass an argument and that argument should be the name of the query string whose value we want to read for example here let me specify gender so in this case what will happen is the value of gender query string will be read and that value will be assigned to this query parameter and when we are logging this query the value assigned to the gender query string should be logged so let's save the changes here let's check if the application has been recompiled or not so it has not been recompiled let's recompile it and now let's go back and let's make the request again so we have received the response now let's go to command prompt and there you will see that only mail is logged because this is the value which we have assigned to this gender query string so this is making sure that to this parameter only the value of the gender query string is assigned and that's why only the value assigned to the gender query string is logged but if you want to get the value of all the query strings then you can simply omit it here okay so in this case this query will be assigned with an object now what will be the value of this query if we don't pass any query string with the request let's see that let's go to postman and now i'm not going to pass any query string when making a request to this url to root url slash users so let me go and let me make the request we have received the response now let's check the value of query and you will see that in that case this query basically this parameter here it has been assigned with an empty object so when we are not passing any query string in the url in that case this parameter which we are decorating with at query decorator it will be assigned with an empty object only if we have some query string then in that object with that query string a property will be created and it will be assigned with the value which we have assigned for that query string all right now one more thing is here we can also check so let me go back and let me get back the query string okay so here we can also check query dot and then let's say gender so this will return us the value of the gender query string if that query string is present in this query object okay so if we have specified this gender query string here and this is married query string here then the object which we are going to receive for this query parameter there we will have a gender property and and is married property right so in that case this query dot gender should return us the value of that gender query string if i say query dot is married then that will return us the value of is married query string so what we want to do here is here 
we want to check if query dot gender so if there is any gender property in this object that means we have passed a gender query string with the request so we are going to check if that query dot gender has some value in that case this expression here will return true because if we have specified the gender query string in the request then it will have some value if we have not specified a gender query string in the url in that case this gender will be undefined and undefined is a falsy value right so this expression will return false so if there is any gender query string in the request then what do we want to return is we want to return all users so this is going to return us an array of all users dot filter so we are going to filter all the users based on their gender so here we are going to pass x you can also call it as user or maybe u we are going to use the arrow function syntax and we will say u dot gender equal to this gender value this query dot gender so let me copy this and let's pass it here okay otherwise if there is no gender query string in the url then we are going to return all the users so here let me go ahead and let me save this and in here let me also go ahead and let me create one more user with gender as female let's save the changes let's go to postman and before that let's also check if the application has been recompiled it has not been recompiled so let's recompile it and now the application has been recompiled let's go to postman and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass this gender query string i'm not going to pass this is married query string i'm going to pass a single query string with gender where i'm setting the gender as male so let's make a request and here we should get only two users where the gender is male as you can see but if i change this to female then we should get only one user in the response where the gender is female okay so in this way we can also read the value of query strings here we are reading the value of gender query string this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day